Hello everyone and welcome to this reading. So I've just put a reading on my other channel Pixie Power Tarot with this deck about what 2021 will bring in for you and what the transition means. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reading now, an almost personal reading to see what the angels want you to know in this moment. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So you may want to go over to Pixie Power Tarot and check that reading out but this one is what you need to know now as we move into 2021. So we're going to do a Celtic cross spread and we're going to talk about the cards. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, as we move into 2021? Wow. OK, powerful stuff. We put them back in. I just want to grab the cards as I go. What do we need to know as we move into 2021? What do we need to know? It'll be really interesting to see the differences between that message and this message to see how similar they are right let's do this then okay so the general energy then as well look at this a new beginning coming in as you move into 2021 you've got the fool i love that and in this deck you can see there you know she's kind of standing on the edge of that kind of ship there it looks like it's the end of a rocky like bridge or you know some kind of kind of you know where she needs to jump off it but what I'm feeling is they're actually giving me the Titanic okay where you know Rose and Leonardo DiCaprio were kind of standing saying I'm the king of the world you know so she's ready to jump off into the unknown she's taking a leap of faith so this is like the edge of a mountain here you know, it looks like a ship. You can see that it looks like a ship. So movement. So what they show me intuitively is there could be some travel coming in for you as you're moving into the new year. So it's a sign of restrictions lifting and things changing. So be positive and optimistic about your new year because you can see there she's holding something in her hands and I feel this is your connection with the divine so they're actually showing me that there as an amethyst crystal and I keep talking about amethyst crystal because the angels are very clearly showing this to us right now it's a great way of releasing any anxiety to release any fear to you know feel more calm and at peace because when we move forward it can be scary and the zero of this card is the universe speaking to you. You can see here all these kind of orbs and spirals. So things are shifting and changing under the surface right now. You may not see what's coming, but the best is yet to come. And the angels are very clearly saying that to you. And you've got this support from heaven. And the amethyst is picking up here this beautiful yellow light. And this is illumination. So this is showing you that you're being illuminated right now. And the yellow colours there connected with the energy of the sun, you know, the radiant power of Archangel Gabriel, a lot of healing coming in. I also feel when I'm connecting with this Mary Magdalene energy because, you know, we're forgiving right now. So moving out of any forgiveness, any healing, any blame or any regret so we can move forward into the new year fearlessly ready for what's to come. And there's plenty of choices. So this can bring in fear. You know, this is currently where you are and it's on your mind. So there's a lot of choices affecting this new beginning. So if this is connected with your lover, you know, your twin flame, your partner, your lover, it's showing that there's decisions about this new beginning. So I feel that you're ready for this new beginning, but they may be procrastinating. And that may be causing a block in the connection. So if this is your twin flame, which it possibly is, then it's showing you that, you know, they're deciding what to do. They're making a choice. They're working things out. So the message coming through is stop procrastinating. And this is for your person. Stop procrastinating and go with the flow. Just make a decision. So there's plenty of choices. And I feel that your person always knows that, you know, you have choices, always knows. Because... Even though you're loyal to them and your heart is with them, you have people around you interested in you. You know, they know that. They're not stupid. So they understand that you are this beautiful, radiant being of light who can have, be and ha do anything, you know, have, have anyone, be anyone, do anything. So, you know, they spend a lot of time contemplating and thinking when really they should be taking action. So that's the thing that's in the way, you know, 
procrastination and maybe you're thinking oh just make a decision already you know let's be together let's sort this out and they're still mm, you know pondering on it gaining a solution finding a strategy working things out gathering information like the squirrel so you have to be patient maybe you're the one who's procrastinating because you have decisions to make in your life so you're ready to make the change you know, you're ready for the change because there's the, the fool energy, but there's this energy of, hmm, what do I do? Is it going to work out? Will it be okay? You know, it's all this kind of feeling about it, choices. It can be scary when you've got to make choices. So the angels are saying to you, your future is bright. Your future is, is lit. You know, it's lit up. It's lit. There's beautiful things coming in for you. We've also got here, wow, the three of wands. So the reason we're asking the question is, you know, this is showing you that progress has been made. So just making a decision, which is what currently seems to be in the way, you know, it will, when a decision is made, it will move things around and it will push you forward. So a lot of changes coming in. You can see there she's holding the surfboard. So you've just got to go in the water. You've just got to go in the water, get on the surfboard. They're giving me fear. So it'll bring in fear and face that unknown wave. You don't know what that wave is going to do. Is it going to be still and calm or is it going to throw you around? And it's like when we're on a water ride, we get thrown around. There's a lot of water energy coming through in this, you know, and water is about releasing. Water is about emotion. Water is about feelings. So you have to experience your feelings and follow your heart. So the big message here is follow your heart. And that will help you to make a decision. And if it's your person that needs to make a decision, they will follow their heart. I also feel here we've got the energy of the number three. And the number three is about the ascended masters watching over you. It's about the trinity, you know, you, your twin flame and the divine. It's about your connection with the universe. It's about your ego, your higher self and your connection with heaven. So it's about trusting that, you are supported from above and that if you fall you'll get back up because you are a warrior and the angels will pick you up and the angels are showing you this here you may also be drawn to the flames in there so you know you've got two flames very bright and then you've got a little one down here so that's also a sign of family you know children coming into your life in 2021 power moving towards your dreams releasing things that don't matter anymore or don't matter as much anymore because you're changing and growing and evolving and ascending. So you're moving where you're meant to be. It's also a big sign about the new year as you move into March, you know, going forward, not back, facing your fears, being ready for what's to come. It's so powerful. So the angel is saying to you, all you have to do is make that decision to find your way. Coming into your immediate future, we've got the Four of Swords. And this is really powerful because the same cards have come out in the other reading on Pixie Power. So, But I've interpreted it differently because that one is about, you know, moving into 2021 generally. This is more about the Twin Flame journey. This is more about love, more about you. So this is showing you that you're reflecting, resting, getting your energy back. So you're going to feel better as you move into the new year, you know, it kind of feels like 2020 has been a year of hibernation, you know, a year where we've all been stuck inside, we've had to deal with restrictions and lockdowns and, you know, we've been nasty and that's the word they're giving me, we've been nasty, so we've been getting things ready, so this is your hibernation period and as you move into the new year, you're going to wake up feeling reborn, so there's a lot of rebirth energy coming in, you know, this is a time now as I do this in real time to rest and reflect and work out what you want, to plan your 2021 in your mind, to set intentions, to manifest your dreams, because it's time to move on to a new beginning. You are not alone. You are surrounded by support and the birds there are signifying your freedom. So you're free as, you know, the whoever sang it you to go where you want any old time. So as you move into the new year, you're going to feel better about being able to go where you want to do to make changes in your life. It's really powerful. We've also got here, wow, the Six of Swords. See how there's so many boats here? And the Six of Swords is a card where you leave the past behind. 
you know, you leave the struggles and all that kind of turbulent water, trauma, abuse, they're giving me the word, fear, doubt, illusion, you leave all that in the past and you move into calmer waters. So, you know, you're excited about this new beginning because you know it's going to be better than it has been before. There's still going to be challenges and obstacles. We've got challenges and obstacles over the next four years. That's why twin flames all over the world are coming into union over the next four years. So it's not going to all be smooth sailing. But when you release the fears and you let go of the doubt and the struggle and you replace it with faith and love, things get better. You know, things improve, things feel much better. And the angels are showing this to you. So you've got the birds there, again, signifying freedom, but the crows. So that's signifying the crows or eagles. I'm seeing both. Well, crows are about, you know, kind of revealing secrets and working things out, delving deep into your mind to feel more at peace and free. And the eagles are about your dreams manifesting. So you take what you take from that car, because I'm seeing that as a new beginning where you leave the struggles behind. So you're leaving everything behind in 2020 that needs to go and that's going to lead to your happy ever after you know this new beginning is going to lead to union it will lead to love it will lead to happiness joy spending time with your beloved being together so even if now that's just on the 5d or you feel it's a whim or a dream it's showing you it's possible it's just that a decision needs to be made and that decision is affecting things right now so your masculine will make the decision and you have to be patient because your happy ever after will come you know there's lots of beautiful things ahead in your future and they show me this rainbow color you know which is obviously rainbow protection so your journey is protected you know your love life is protected whether you you know you are a twin flame or you want a soul teacher or you know, you want love, whatever you're wanting, you know, we take the label away and it's just love, it's just a relationship, it's showing you it's all protected because you're ready to take a leap of faith and manifesting, so this is a big sign about your person, you know, very masculine energy coming through in that card there, so setting the intention, talking to that tree and that tree is blooming, you can see underneath the soil it's all happening, Sometimes you can't see what's going on underneath the, the scenes or, you know, behind the scenes. But everything is coming together to bring in this kind of blooming plant. And the beautiful thing is, if you watch the film The Secret, it talks about how when you're creating in your mind, when you're manifesting, you're about to have your breakthrough, which means there's nothing on the soil. It's all happening underneath the soil like here and that little seedling that sprouted up there is about to sprout up. It's about to break through the soil. But if you lose kind of heart, if you lose faith and you turn away from it, then it will just go back down and you won't see any movement. So you have to keep faith and keep believing and trusting and talking to the angels about your dreams and your desires. And this is showing you that even if you feel that your person is not doing the work, it's happening behind the scenes. They are nurturing that little tree just like you are. So things are about to sprout. There's going to be a breakthrough. Remember your truth. You are the high priestess. Trust your intuition. You know your truth. So this is a big sign for you to go within, to trust your journey, to know that you are safe and that you are loved. So the thing that I love about this is we've got, if I put these like this, it'll make more sense to you. This is why I like showing you the cards in this way, because it tells a story. Okay, it tells a story. So you've got all of this here. So this is the divine feminine and this is the divine masculine. And in the middle, you've got the intuition of your higher selves. That's both of you. And that's your connection with the divine. So you both tapped in, you both tuned in, and you both turned on to heaven. The masculines use their intuition to work things out and to plan and to make solutions happen and find strategies. And the feminine uses her intuition to trust and believe, to take that leap of faith, to move forward. So you can see the differences. The masculine, very ego-based, thinking about the 3D world and what to do and the feminine knowing that she has to release any fear of doubt and start believing to take a leap of faith to follow a heart yet you're both doing that as well 
really powerful. So trust your intuition. You are psychic, you are in tune. That's why sometimes you'll say to me, Liz, what does this mean? And I say, trust your intuition. Why? Because you know, it's not me saying, oh, I don't want to help you. It's me acknowledging that you already know because you already know everything I know because you're as tapped into source as I am. So trust your intuition. And so many of you will put a comment with a question or, you know, you'll have a reading with a question and you already answer the question in that comment or in that email. So you already know, you know, you're just looking for validation. Well, you get that from above, your signs, the synchronicities, the angels speak to you. You already know. And wow, we've got temperance. So you're also being asked to be patient at this time, you know, to trust the journey of your life, to go with the flow, to live in the now. To be patient with your divine masculine as he makes these changes and he adjusts his mind accordingly. Be flexible and adaptable to the changes that can come in. Trust the way you're going and where you want to be. All you have to do is let go. So let go of holding on. You know, when you're afraid to let go, you stay stuck. You stay where you are and you can see the divine feminine is being guided to take a leap of faith to move forward that means believe and trust your journey but when you're in fear you're afraid to let go you know one of my friends Gary Markwick is a famous Reiki healer and you know he's a palmist in London but he's traveled all over the world and I actually shared a, 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 like a little example out of his book I might actually find the link and put it in the description below and you can watch it. It's beautiful. It's about, it's in his book, which is The Power of the Now. No, now it begins. I say his book, Now It Begins by Gary Markwick. And he talks about these snails. And the snails are kind of on this embankment. And one of the snails knows that he has to leap in the water and start again. He knows that he can't keep moving where he is. He, he's, he's had an off, you know. He doesn't want to carry on, but he's afraid. He's afraid of losing his friends. He's afraid of losing his home. He's afraid of everything. And then he just kind of jumps in the water. And for a minute, he's under the water. He's struggling. He can't breathe. And he thinks everything's over. He thinks he's a goner. And then the, the current grabs him and takes him where he's meant to go and pushes him up and he can breathe again and he's moved where he's meant to be and he's transformed and he finds a new life with new friends and new people and new situations and this is exactly what will happen in your twin flame journey or your love life you know or your career you know you'll find a new beginning but you have to let go of the old to bring in the new and not fear it just like that little snail and we've got, wow, the Ace of Wands, so action. So things are happening. So as you move into 2021, things are happening. Your brain is on fire. That means you've been illuminated, you're seeing the truth, and you're seeking answers. Your third eye is open. You're giving me fear. So release the fear because your masculine will take action. That's why the Ace of Wands is there. Your masculine will stop procrastinating and make a choice and make a decision and that will be action towards you. And you'll decide to finally let go like that snail and be like, well, what will be, will be. Thank you, universe. Thank you for guiding me. What will be, will be. You know, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? So you're giving it to heaven. So you're becoming stronger, more powerful because you're tapping in more with your psychic side and your intuition. So the angels are saying to you, just trust yourself. Trust this journey. Trust your masculine. Don't blame your twin for the time it's taking. It's hard for them to let go, just like it's hard for you to let go. But you're letting go of different things. Your masculine is holding on to things in the 3D world. You know, you're struggling with things that you need to release to believe. So you're both struggling with your own things, but you've got each other's back. And the universe has got your back and you are safe. So the real message coming through is let go, trust your journey. It's all moving where it's meant to be and everything will make sense in divine timing. I hope this helps. Have a great time. Great Christmas. You know, obviously I'm going to be alive. Well, you know, on the 21st and I'm going to be putting more videos on. But I just want to say to you, you know, if you found this video, enjoy the rest of 2020. Enjoy the festive period. Enjoy the New Year celebrations. It may be a lot different this year, 
but it's still you. So enjoy being you and move into 2021 knowing that you are loved and safe. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.